A great moment in rugby league history. The Burgess boys all together for the same team. Uh, Joey, you love yourself English rugby league. You had a stint over there mm. as well. On the back of that, we thought today we'd get you to compile your list of your favourite Englishmen to come and compete in the NRL. Since 98. Since 98. Yeah, well, it was pretty hard to pick from. And it's funny enough, the five I've picked are all fours. Number five is James Graham. Came over here and his ball playing ability is like a throwback to, to the English players of the 70s, passing before the line, in the line, as tough as they come. Everyone knows he's just an absolute lunatic. <laughs> but uh, he's old school, really old school, and you talk to players who have played with him, they love playing with him. Number four, this guy was sensational when he came out, Gareth Ellis, a real professional. I can't remember him missing a tackle. It was a great, oh. Oh. It was a great defender and had a great combination with that man, Benji Marshall. And I can imagine coming to the Tigers. Would have been hard to fit into their structure. But this bloke, he, uh, he took him to another level. Have a look at the size of him. Great player. Number three, Josh Hodson. When he signed with Canberra, I actually didn't know much about him. But was blown away by his performance. He's a halfback who plays in dummy half. And I think even last year or the year before, his form has been right up there with Cameron Smith, if not maybe better on occasions. Uh, they're a big chance of winning the comp this oh. year on the back of that. Um, <laughs> Freddie, you, Freddie, you talk about Moz. Oh, <laughs> mate, he was just the best. He just was a 1,000 miles an hour. There was a quality about Moz, so you can see how hard he played. But what he'd do, if he got someone good, what he'd do, he'd just say to him, I'll give you a chance back. And he'd get the ball and he'd run straight at him. Right. It was like a real throwback of the, I reckon, 60s or 70s. <laughs> and a gentleman off the field. Oh, it was incredible. But I used to go to church every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and number one, who else? Sam Burgess. What a player. Something. Probably one of the, well, probably the oh. best Englishman ever to come out here, along with Malcolm Reilly. Uh, what a player. Playing the grand final with that busted cheekbone. An absolute warrior, as tough as they come. He took South to another level when he came out. We'd all heard about Sam Burgess in the UK, but when he came out here, he just exploded. Went to Rugby Union for a few years, which I don't know why he did. Great list, good fun. Big semi. Uh, number one Englishman in the NRL era for one, Andrew Johnson.